Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Let's Hold on a second. Let me get this comment in because Andrew gave us some money here. Uh, I'm going to read his comment. He says, all lives matter. Stop being a whatever American and just be a free loving American. Stop segregating yourself. Uh, IMO, love the show, uh, different perspectives. So, yeah, a couple, so, couple different things in there. Uh, and then CloverTac so, so Clover says, hey, Hank and Maj, chat peeps, y'all listen to Maj. Dude drops bombs all day and night. So, you know. So here's the thing to that. To that. Y'all hear that? It's not a gun, you two. Right, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> listen, smash the thumbs ups out there. Smash the thumbs ups out there. Um, this is this look. We, we could we could spend a lot of time uh, talking on that. I think sometimes in life you just have to accept people's perspectives and what they think about what they think about things. This is the the thing about language and all that kind of stuff, right? It's it's that complicated. I know there's people. I was I, I've always told Lola this. There's there's a hood in in Brooklyn somewhere in Philly. There's a hood. Okay, the people in that hood might look like me and you, Mosh. But there's a hood in the country somewhere. And that's a different kind of hood, but it's still the hood. Yep. Might be, you know, just all white dudes out there in the hood, but that's still the hood. And the cops are still, you know, uh, coming down on them. And there's still people who look down on them and they still get persecuted and all that yep. kind of stuff. Life is perspective. We're not all living the same one. We all get yep. the same 24 hours in a day. We don't all live at the same time, come in and out of the world at the same time. But if you're... If you're living in a 24-hour span, everyone has the same time. Right. And so. to, to, and that's that's just perspective. So when people say things like, well, just be an American. Well, I am an American. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to. So let's say if I was Chinese American, right? Mm -hmm. No one's asking Chinese Americans to not say Chinese American. Mm -hmm. No one's asking Indian Americans that, that have a strong cultural or Afri people from the continent of Africa, oh. right? Well, uh, I, like Lola opinion. doesn't see herself as uh, African American. I don't either. I don't. Yeah, that's Lola fair. doesn't. Yeah, so. That's fair. Yeah, I think and that's an Amer that's an American thing, and I don't have a problem with it. I just don't put myself. I just see myself as a black guy. But yes, you're right. We could get to all kinds of things. Sometimes I say, "Hey, I'm from the Caribbean. That's that's who I was born right. in the Caribbean. I grew up with reggae music and and, and, respect, respect, for, yeah. respect for your culture as yeah. a Caribbean American, right? Yeah. Respect for your culture and your lineage does not mean that you're negating your American no. present. No, no, I'm very, I'm proud. I'm like, you know, from my point of view, you were born here in America, right? And, and I'm American. You've got to deal with it from that point of view. My my family gave up things and traveled around and came here to America and struggled to stay here and be here. And I'm proud of it from that point of view, you know. Right. And there's and it, there's there's lots of us, man. And for me, all I'm trying to do is get everyone to understand that there's lots of us. And because I see this thing this way, it doesn't negate you or your existence. Exactly. exactly. You know. Just because just because I'm highlighting. That I'm amazingly handsome doesn't mean that I'm calling somebody else ugly. Right. So when you're saying melanated, you're not trying to like say, hey, you're not trying to come. But here's the thing. Here's the question I want to ask you before we get away from this. Because you were talking about Black Lives Matter and how it's been co-opted. Rhonda Mary said the same thing yesterday. You guys can go back and look at that. Um, and I completely understand that. And I think that's valid. So... Can we say that about other things in America? Can we say that about like the rebel flag, for example? Can we say it's been co-opted into this or that it means this to someone or that to someone? I think it's going to mean, so wait, so how are you tying melanated? Are no, no, no. I'm BLM, BLM is co-opted. Yeah, no, we're, yeah we're, there's lots of things that get co-opted, man. Lots of things get co-opted. Yeah, the, 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 the <laughs> rainbow flag was co-opted by the gay community. Yeah. Rainbow, rainbows existed before gay uh, people the, the, the Nazis co-opted the swastika. It's an adinkra symbol. So, like, so, so yes. From my people. Say that. I remember a few years ago, Kanye West was trying to repurpose the Confederate flag. Mm -hmm. I think it was around the album when um, Black Skinhead came out. Okay. Some of his some of his merch had the rebel flag on it, okay. and he was like, "Yo, this is my flag now." Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, 
I'm not mad at that. Yeah. Now, I mean, because, like, look, there's some guys who say, hey, this flag means to me, like, you know, it means country. You know, it means rebelling against these guys up north who want to tell us it doesn't mean slavery or a hate you or bigotry or whatever. And to some people, it does mean that. Right. Right. You want to have a hell of a job explaining your position when you walk around with the rebel flag. Mm-hmm. And that's a teachable moment if you want to have that conversation every time. If you're well versed in, hey, this flag originated at this time for these reasons. The, my reason for it is because I'm from Biloxi, Mississippi or mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. Right. And if you want to make that a teachable moment, mm-hmm. absolutely do it. Mm-hmm. Because you have to realize that when you wear that flag, based on the current understanding of it, generally, mm-hmm. you're going to get what you get. So, for example, if I wear a shirt that says Black Guns Matter, my white mm-hmm. followers ask me this all the time. Mm-hmm. Maj, it is it cool for me to wear a Black Guns Matter shirt? I don't want people to think that I'm making fun of Black Lives Matter because I think it's an important Who asked you slogan. that? Who asked you that? My white followers. Your white followers. Okay, my brain said, you know, I'm a little dyslexic. My brain said my wife asked me that all the time. Oh, and I was like, wait, no. did, did, was this a little Mark, Freudian slip? Right. <laughs> Which is, I was like, yeah, let me go back here. I don't want to settle that. And when they ask me that, uh, I tell them, absolutely, you should wear that shirt. Absolutely, you should. When people ask you, what's that about? Oh, mm-hmm. there's a firearm safety organization called Black Guns Matter. Mm-hmm. This guy goes through, and it creates yeah. teachable moments. If you want to re- rep that flag, do it. If you're white, you want to say, do it. Deal with what comes with it and make it the teachable moment. Same you're you're going to wor- learn one way or the other. Look, I think it's like uh, it's it's like the uh, Make America Great Again hats or whatever. There's people, there's people uh, you know, beating up people because they have that hat on. I don't know what, like, what do we, you know, what do we... If you had that hat on and if you didn't have a gun, you don't yeah. really understand America. Yeah. But what I'm saying, what I'm saying to you is like, why would we, you know, I don't, if I see someone with a BLM shirt, I'm not like, oh, they're, they're, you know, I don't, a lot of these things don't matter, right? A lot of these things don't matter. Has that person identified themselves to me? Sure. Good, good for you. You know, it's like, a, it's just, a, this is a thing. Um, a lot of people, like I'm Guyanese, right? I was born in Guyana. We had this conversation. I am American, right? I was born in Guyana. A lot of Guyanese people... A lot of Jamaicans, lots of people do this. They want to put, like, a Jamaican flag on their car or a Guyanese flag. I do not do that. I don't put any bumper stickers (laughs) on my car. I don't put those little stick figure people and, like, the stick figure people with the guns or none of that stuff. Yeah. I don't have one. I'm not identifying myself unnecessarily. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm not putting one. I put my child goes to such and such school. Way to tell everybody what time you're probably not home, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like a NRA sticker, a GO. I don't have nothing, no identifying marks on my vehicles at all, mm-hmm. at all. Mm-hmm. And so um, if that person identifies themselves, cool. They still, that's the thing about freedom. That person has the right to, I don't care if you're walking around with a Ku Klux Klan outfit. I don't give a f- that's how you feel. You're just, you're just, you're just flagging yourself to me like, hey, this is who you are. It's, it's all good. And, yeah. and listen, Cool. That's who you are. Great. If if someone wants to identify me mm-hmm. because I like this shirt is a is a symbol. Right. Right. Yeah. This guy's probably into guns. Yeah. I'm a bigger than that. I'm into freedom. Yeah. If they saw the you ATF know? memo, then they know you're maybe a boo boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it could be and confusing so- messages. They don't know if that's just a joke to you. They don't know if that's real. We're just making assumptions. That's it. But that's what we do. We that, do that as people, though. Until you have that conversation, your assumption is not proven. Mm-hmm. And th- now you might be 100% right. Oh, knew he was a racist. Mm-hmm. And he's like, yeah, I hate you blacks. Oh, I was right. Cool. Mm-hmm. We move on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or it could be like, nah, man, I just, I just, I do think that America has the potential to be great again. Here's the reasons why. Mm-hmm. We have some bad things in our history. We have some great things in our history. Woo, 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 woo. And you go, oh, man, I had that guy pegged wrong. Mm-hmm. You know, but you won't know that until the dialogue. So to your point, when somebody comes in hot talking about we can't talk about that, I go, well, you're not open to, mm-hmm. you know, and, and you and you don't have to be. That's mm-hmm. another beautiful yeah. thing. You don't, you don't have to be open. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to 13C Gun Reviews. He says that shirt is, is fire. By the way, 13C was supposed to be on tonight. We kind of bumped yeah. him to tomorrow, so you guys will see him tomorrow because Maj. And we need to get to this, man, because we already burnt an hour talking about I don't even know what. <laughs> Melanated beings. <laughs> Melanated beings, yeah. You know I'm going to make a clip out of that. <laughs> Just look forward to that. People are going to be like, yo, Hank Strange made you explain what melanated beings is. And I guarantee you there's a whole bunch of people like, you know, I was really wondering about that. I was really wondering. Yeah. What, what, yeah. Is, what is melanated? Is that like, a, <laughs> you know, what exactly does it have to do with anything? So, um, is it coffee? Or... <laughs> Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.